Hello. Can you say hi, Mr. Walsh? Hi, Mr. Walsh. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> Hello, Gabe. How are you? So the first game we're going to have you play today is... Let's see. Something I would be a little surprised if you've never seen it before. I've played yeah. this game before. You Tetris um. is SAM blocks. I guess I... No, I've never played it. But... When I was really young, and uh, I would play this game on some of the computers <laughs> at his work, it wasn't, it wasn't like a, an app. It I'm gonna choose the lowest level possible. It's been some time, yeah. I guess in the you know, 2000. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I working at a radio station. I used to play it on my desk when it probably wasn't supposed to be. Control keys. Uh, like a lot of games, I think when you start off with a simple set of rules, but then there's so many ways that they can interact, <laughs> then uh, that makes for a good game. And also, there's probably some deeper, like, cognitive. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you know, think about how it's like a spatial orientation and you have to react. Uh, and so that probably like really stimulates your brain mm -hmm. from kind of a scientific perspective. Well, this is going to be really confusing for me. My son is a whiz at all this stuff, but I'm going to stink. Um, I'm not sure it's open. Turn them, you can rotate them. Yeah, I see that now. Well, what to tell me that? Would I play this game during class? I, I would, uh, you know. Maybe because of the colors? Maybe because it's hard. I've seen Tetris games where basically two people can play and whoever lasts longer and makes more lines wins and I don't know, there's some kind of points. It's fast paced. It looks like it's manageable. Okay, I just hit enter. This has got me back into a little bit of Tetris. Have you ever seen someone else play it? No, I've never seen anyone else play this. No, I don't think so. I lost. So this game is called Octagon. Okay, it's too loud. Oh wait, I've seen this game. <laughs> I've seen kids playing it and when I come by, it disappears. It's got those shapes. Do you jump? Is there a jump button? Okay, now what do I do? Oh my word, this is impossible. <laughs> is this game hard? Yes. <laughs> I'd be level one. Oh, I'm fire. Oh, wait a minute. See, now this game, I, I, don't know, I don't know what I'm doing at all. I feel like I should be doing a lot better. I'm terrible at this. You have to get the ball into that little hole. I'm surprised to say that they like the graphics on this better, though, because I'm tumbling around out there like monkeys. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Do you think that this game will um, continue to be really popular? It's kind of like a burst of it, like everyone finding out about it and everyone trying it out and playing it. But then I think it gets old after a little bit, so... Why do you think this game is so popular? Because there's a challenge with a reward early. You stop thinking about other stuff. You're just solely focused on that. I can see how it's pretty addicting because every time you lose, you want to start over right away. Alright, it's fun! So. Did you know that um, the school has uh, figured out a way to prohibit the students' computers from downloading this game and installing it into the system? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's why I don't see them anymore. I used to see it all, all the time. I won't say any names, but a bunch of my ninth graders, they were playing this all the time. Yeah, well, I guess maybe kids were using it during class or something. That, that might be the first time I've ever beat level three. All the visuals, I mean, there's a lot going on. There's um, the, the visuals, the color, the music. I'm falling right off of a cliff. So yeah, this would be a Friday night, Saturday night game. <laughs> I don't like it because I'm not very good at it. Oh, there's a quit. Press the power. <laughs> so close. The next game is called 2048. Okay. And the goal is to reach the number 2048. Yeah. Now, no, this is I'm kind of stuck here. Mm -hmm. They've made like Doctor Who and like The Simpsons. Oh, they've done one with The Simpsons. Yeah, like a bunch of different kinds. Oh, really? Now that one I could do. You want to play that one? Instead? Sure. Yeah. Sam. It's more cerebral. <laughs> Frodo. Mary. Just moving side to side and numbers just keep showing up. Like here, I mean there two would lead to four, four would lead to eight, eight goes to sixteen. Now I'm up to bar. It's hard to remember which players merge into who. Then I guess it's gonna be Marge. I'll find out. And then Homer. But where does it go after there? What's the next who are the next people? That could be something that'll keep that elastic in your brain. Do you think games like this will last? Yeah, I would play this. Oh yeah. There will always be, there's so many people, creative people out there who are going to 
come up with new ones. Mm -hmm. So they're not necessarily going to be the same exact thing, but I think when you hit on something like this, where again, this is like Tetris, it's something that has simple rules, but those rules evolve and emerge into uh, many different possibilities. So Numbers you know, mm -hmm. but this one be like, okay, what do you think is next? And be like, oh. I thought for sure it was going to be more. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what's next? Gimli. <laughs> And when you lose the game, um, you get to you get to restart, and that actually your, that actually stimulates your brain. Amazing! Hope we're getting your kids ready to compete in that environment. I don't think any of them are necessarily like educational, or <laughs> I think I think they're mainly just for fun. So, like in class, I don't I don't want any of my students to play these games while we're doing something else during class. But I don't see any of these games being corrupted. I can see my daughter doing it. She likes that. She likes like piano tiles. What is your message to students who play games during your classes? In class, I'd ask them to play. Turn it off. Listen to me. Okay. On this, because it's not supposed to. Ooh. <laughs>